Um, now for uh, the issue of um, uh, how to uh, bring uh, uh, peace uh, in, uh, in the area of Caucasus in uh, our two countries. Uh, I can uh, but just say that uh, uh, what Council of Europe proposed uh, uh, as, uh, um, as one of the measures that would be important and completely fall within the competence of the organization is confidence building measures. And I can inform you that three rounds of these confidence building measures uh, have been uh, have, have been concluded and that uh, uh, we believe that continuing uh, uh, in this way would be, uh, I would say, Council of Europe way of uh, dealing with issues, uh, restoring the dialogue and, and uh, most particularly the trust uh, between the parties. Uh, now for, uh, for how to, uh, to restore uh, 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 the peace in, uh, from different angles, uh, the road to Nakhchivan or uh, the peace uh, in Nagorno-Karabakh and uh, something that pertains to human rights, which is uh, restoration of, uh, of uh, right to uh, free, uh, free passage uh, through the Latin corridor. I can, I can tell you that uh, what uh, I, from my side, ask is a high-level secretariat delegation that uh, uh, agreed with both parties to go uh, to each one. Uh, the one in Azerbaijan already took place uh, two weeks or three weeks ago, and the one for Armenia is agreed in two weeks' time. And uh, the purpose of that is really to review all uh, the pertinent issues linked with uh, Council of Europe and uh, the particular countries, but also in this respect linked with uh, how uh, to find a way uh, to have more dialogue and restore peace uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh, within Azerbaijan and, uh, and Armenia. And I think that uh, the work that is that been done uh, with, uh, recently, and someone uh, already referred to that, is very important, and I could only encourage that more dialogue, more uh, uh, listening to each other, and more uh, uh, working together on open issues and these uh, uh, delegations that go to both countries are also there in order to ask each particular uh, side uh, uh, to address the issues that are open like, you know, P, uh, POWs, the missing persons, the mine uh, maps and, and uh, all, uh, all the respective uh, other issues that are at stake. So I believe that, again, nothing can uh, replace uh, this uh, working together on the peace, and uh, certainly we can assist, but the main, uh, the main um, and, and important part relies uh, on the leaders of the two, uh, uh, two countries, and I can see that the meetings are taking place, but still also uh, the problems are, uh, are there, so they are not solved, uh, but the problem is also not from yesterday, and uh, as uh, to, 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 to finish, uh, you remember that when both countries succeeded uh, back uh, in, in, in history uh, to the Council of Europe, both uh, undertook the obligation uh, to find uh, a peaceful solution to the, uh, to the important issues which are at stake. And I can only recall that because it remains pertinent more than ever, and in particular when we have war in fully-fledged aggression on Ukraine, uh, we certainly uh, need to have more resolution of conflicts rather than new one uh, erasing. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear Maria, Madam Secretary.